All right, compression and rebound damping on the T7. Inside these guys, you've got a big old coil spring, and that's actually bathed in fork oil when something pushes the front end of the bike up, rather than just letting it spring up and then back down and up and down and up and down again. That fork oil has to pass through a small port to allow the front end to collapse and then to redistend as well. So basically by turning the dials down at the bottom here and turning them clockwise uh, to make them harder, basically you're making that port smaller, thus slowing down the action on the compression stroke. And the same thing up top here, the rebound damping setting. When you turn that clockwise, you are hardening that up or slowing it down uh, and essentially controlling and slowing down the wheel on its way back down to a fully extended. So the rebound damping is super easy to find. It's just gonna be this right there. Make sure that you bottom them out in the clockwise direction first uh, because you actually can surpass a safe and usable setting in the soft direction where in the hard direction you will just come to a dead stop. So probably right about there. You don't want to put too much force on it, but it does stop. And then basically you want to go back until you hear a click. So right there's our one or zero. I'm just going to count the clicks out. Then you do the same exact thing, ensuring that you are in the exact right position on the other side here, but I won't bore you with that. So next we'll move on down to the compression setting, which is gonna be down here. This is basically gonna be the same thing, and what this setting is gonna do is slow down or speed up how fast this wheel can be shot up into the forks. So to get at this, you actually need to pull a little rubber dust cap off, which is gonna be this guy right here. So there we go. Also actually tells you which way you gotta turn it. So again, clockwise to bottom it out. I think that's bottom. So we will back it off till we hit our first click. One, two, And then all you gotta do is just stick this dust cap back up in there and kind of make sure that the flat top part of it here is flush or even inset a little bit from the aluminum outer ring there. So again, whatever you do to one side, make absolutely sure that you've done the same thing to the other side. Uh, make sure you don't back these off any further than the manual recommends uh, for the minimum setting. And uh, this is probably something you're gonna have to mess around with. I'm not 100% sure that the settings that I made tonight are gonna work perfectly. Uh, you pretty much just have to kind of bring a screwdriver along with you and test it out on the trail. So that's what I'll be doing tomorrow. I don't know how much of that I will film. Uh, I've got a couple of videos for adjusting the rear and testing that out. If you guys wanna check those out, I will put links for them down in the description. If you guys wanna see more videos from me every weekend, click the Swanky Cat logo. If you wanna see some more right now, feel free to check them out. Otherwise, guys, if you can get out and enjoy this beautiful world, make sure you do that. Other than that, guys, take care, stay safe, and stay swanky.